With the word like fantastic in the title, there's no way this intro cannot be punny. So, was the Fantastic Four fantastic or fantastically awful? Join me in this review of Fox's and Marvel's Fantastic Four 2015. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. I'm gonna need a heat resistant workshop. You don't know anything about what's coming. What is coming? Doom. So right now, if you're looking at IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, or any other type of movie review website, you're going to be seeing that Fantastic Four is getting slammed. And I have to say that that ratings or those reviews are very unjustified. This movie overall was not that bad. And the rating on Rotten Tomatoes, it does not deserve that at all. It was actually a relatively decent superhero movie, and I enjoyed it a lot. There were some parts of it that I didn't like, but overall, I enjoyed it. So, what about this movie did I enjoy? I enjoyed the acting. The acting was very, very good. Now, the acting made up for the floppy screenwriting. At some points, the writing was just a little bit cheesy, corny, but the actors were able to pretty much work with what they had, and they did a good job with it. Now, a, a problem I had with the film was the CGI. When they're in the other dimension, the CGI is very, very bad. Like, it's there the whole time. They're clearly on green screens. It doesn't look that great but when they use it with their powers it's relatively cool which i liked i liked the effects you know of the invisible woman and of the flaming torch or the human torch i just really liked the way they looked and even when mr fantastic you know reed is stretching those effects looked pretty cool as well when they're pretty much off the green screen and using the effects on the person you know in the real world or in our world that's when it's at its best that's when the movie looks really good now and the thing about the movie i really enjoyed was the relationships between the characters which i think has to do with the chemistry of the actors they just got along really well it looked like i really liked the relationship between johnny and sue between johnny and sue and their dad their dad was probably one of my favorite characters in this entire movie i really liked him the relationship between ben and reed was really cool and the light flirtatious relationship between Reed and Sue was also really cool as well. And just, you know, because this movie is showing them as a younger version, you know, they're not instantly like, they're attracted to each other, but it's not instantly like Reed going, wanna go out with me, let's do this, let's do that. Like he's, he's very intimidated by her and I like that. I mean, he's portrayed as being like this studious young nerd. I mean, he's about 18, 20 years old. So, you know, he's kind of shy and I, I do like that. I related to that quite a bit. I mean, overall, the character development was very good up until the third act. The third act is where I have the biggest problem with the film. It's so rushed and the resolution of it doesn't work in a good way. It's just, it's very, it's very off-putting. And my other problem with the film is the villain arc is very, very quick and he's not on screen for a lot of time. And because he is also cast younger too, he doesn't really feel that intimidating. And when they're in, you know, the other dimension fighting him, and in the trailers, that's a lot of the stuff they show is that fight. And it doesn't work too well to me just because it's so quick. It's so CGI. And I just don't think it was that good just because I didn't feel for the villain. His entire reason for being evil is it's very stereotypical to me for a superhero movie villain. But overall, the first two acts of the film were very good. They were very fun to watch. I like the character progression. And then it just it wrapped up too quickly. So I the writing, I have to say, is off, but the acting definitely helped make up for it. Overall, I would say if you're a superhero fan, at least check this out and um, you know come back and tell me what you think about it because I'm really curious. I didn't think I would like this at all. I thought the trailers made this movie look awful. And I think because the trailers did that, and when I review a trailer, if I'm interested in the movie, it's generally due to the trailer. If I find the trailer to be off-putting, for example, the movie Sisters, which I will not see because that just looks so bad because of the trailer, with this, I felt the same thing, but I was like, it's a superhero movie, so I definitely want to check it out. And I was very surprised that I liked most of it. So overall, I, was, I would say for rating, I'd give it a three and a half out of five. And I would say, check it out and then come back and let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. I'm really curious. So thank you all for watching my quick review of The Fantastic Four. Um, and I hope you all will share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.